Hey guys, I'm back, and uh, we are going to the top of the mountain to the graveyard. Got to uh, get some Xander root. Sorry, Brock flower, I think it is. You might notice it's a bit more laggy than it was last ep than it was last episode because. Uh, I am uploading episode 1 right now, or not uploading, I am uh, rendering episode 1 right now. So if it gets to be a problem, I'll just stop. I'll cut the video short. Because I don't think... Okay, that, that cinematic thing needs to go, too. That's the one downside to this game as well. The cinematics. There. I don't think this is too laggy. I've had worse. So yeah. Oh yeah, there's a snow globe here. And, uh... Oh, there's another one. There's a snow globe here, and a particular someone in the wasteland likes, uh, to collect these. We haven't met him yet. But, uh... I won't spoil the game. So I'm not going to say who, unless I accidentally say who somewhere along the video. See, this Bark Scorpion would have been good experience for us, but uh, the gay cowboy robot uh, kind of fucked it up before we could do anything about it. Which is what made me want to get the knife, because I think I might kill him. Oh, wow. I always do that. I always go to the graveyard, I kill all the bloat flies, get the snow globe, and then leave. That's how insignificant the Brock flower is. You don't think of it. You never use it either. Survival? I never go survival. Sure, you can make poisons later on, but that's about all it's good for. Like this healing powder stuff that you can make, it's not worth it. It's not. So... Basically, the tutorial is telling you that you can collect stuff, you can collect ingredients and make stuff from it, which I never do. I do, uh... <sighs> Sorry. It's getting late. Once it gets past 8 o'clock, I start yawning. P.M. Well, 8 o'clock a.m. I'm yawning, too. Oh, these are dangerous enemies. Yes. So the knife is our best friend at the beginning. And yeah, it's pretty good quality. Energy weapons? If you're solely energy weapons, at the start of the game, you are going to be dying. Because you're going to be having no ammo. And only a crappy laser pistol. For a vast majority of the start of the game. Which sucks. Alright, let's see if we can be killing Victor here. I want to save, actually. He's pretty tough. Oh, this is my other guy where I was fucking around with the, uh... With the grenade launcher at the starting area. <laughs> Hacks for the win. Uh-oh. Detected. By what? Oh, is that a big horner? Yeah, see? He's a tough motherfucker. Wow, oh, I think he's... Oh, shit. <laughs> it wouldn't let me open, uh... It wouldn't let me open, uh, the pit boy. That's another downside about this game, is that, uh... The pit boy doesn't work sometimes. At least for me. Like, uh, when I'm playing on the Xbox, you literally have to mash the B button for, for Vats to, for, for your Pip Boy to, uh, open. And same for, uh, same for PC, I guess. You have to, like, literally mash the fuck out of the keyboard to get the Pip Boy to open. Hit it, like, a good five times with a hammer. 
and then like bang your head on it for good measure. And uh, that's, that's how she goes. So this character is going to be Melee, in case you haven't picked that up yet. And it's starting to lag a bit more. I'm starting to notice this a bit more. I would, uh, it's kind of a, kind of irritating. Because, uh, I was hoping I could just play this game. Like, I've almost beaten this game in one day. So if I could just beat it all in one day, then, uh, but this lag, I think I might need to wait until videos are done rendering in the future. Let me see what you got. Yeah, these will be Before I do fine. my next episode. Just fine. Just All right fine. now. We're going to be making something folks on the trail call. Yeah, yeah, healing powder. Get it. Okay, you click on healing powder, and you go... There. And you accept. Okay. Hey, that's not bad, see? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm now she wants us to go talk with Trudy. <coughs> This guy, he deceives you. He's a big fat liar. You know what I do to big fat liars in my country? I kill him. Okay, you know what? Now I'm pressing. See, now that I changed it, now I'm pressing the control button to, uh, to crouch. So, you know what? We're changing it back. I fuck around with the controls a lot. That's what I do to people who deceive me. Yeah. I'm not a big fan. What did I just... Oh, I took all his shit. I don't want your shit. I don't want your motorcycle helmet, actually. Even though it makes you look like I'm... What did they do? How do you drop things? Okay, you right click. Yeah, I'm still getting used to the controls. I've never been a big fan of keyboard playing style. It's always been confusing for me. Always looking for the No, I'm not I don't even need to travel onward. Okay, yeah, you know what? I'm fine with it. That's basically your last chance to uh to uh, revise your character. I think there's a Wild Wasteland thing over here somewhere for me to show you what Wild Wasteland does. Oh yeah, right here. So Wild Wasteland. This is an ordinary fridge, but look what Wild Wasteland does. Oh. Wild Wasteland adds a skeleton to the fridge. <laughs> Whenever you get like that spooky music and the uh like the spooky extraterrestrial sounding music and uh that little uh wild wasteland symbol at the top this part of the screen here. Um that means you're getting a wild wasteland perk. And uh might want to keep that just for extra perception if I ever decide to use a gun further on in the game. You know what? I don't need it. I don't. Oh, God damn it! I'm gonna be pressing... I'm gonna be pressing the, uh... I'm gonna be pressing shift-click to drop things a lot. Why am I not fast-traveling? Because I'm a Derposaurus Rex, that's why. That's why I'm not fast-traveling. And my cat's meowing again! Ah... Uh, Go talk to Trudy. There's also a guy named Joe Cobb. I'm done being nice. If you don't hand Ringo over, I'm not okay. dead. What? You dirty coward! I didn't mean to hit you. Probably deserved it. probably deserve it. Yeah, he did. Powder gangers are basically a bunch of assholes who escaped from prison. Uh, this guy is a particularly 
annoying guy. It's a very unsatisfying quest when you satis when you uh, side with the powder gangers. I don't know why. I've just never really liked the whole escape con scene. I hope you didn't just bring a heap of trouble down on Good Springs by killing Joe Cobb like that. Don't worry. His friends might come. Well, his friends will come, whether uh, whether you kill him or not. Here, they still come. I prefer killing him right, like right then and there, just because uh, you don't have to fight him with the rest. See, I said just because again. I always say just because. I need I need something new to say. Yeah, it's easier to kill him now, since uh, you have to fight him later anyway. Alright. I'm trying... That guy looked mad. Looks like our little town got itself dragged in the middle of something we don't want anything to do with. About a week ago, this traitor, Ringo, comes into town. Survivor of an attack, he says. Bad men after him. Needs a place to hide. We figured he was just in shock, so we gave him a place to lie low. We didn't actually expect anyone to come after him. Where's Ringo now? He's holed up at the abandoned gas station up the hill. What are you gonna do? Some of the others, like Sonny, will probably stand up for Ringo if he asks for help, which he hasn't. Personally, I hope he sneaks out of town one night and takes the powder gangers with him. Never mind, I wanna talk about something else. Goodbye. Alright, level up. Put five into... That, uh... Five in lockpick. And, uh... One in speech. Now, uh, confirmed bachelor is good to have. Lady killer. I've only gotten one lady killer encounter. I've played through the game twice with lady killer. And I've only found one. And that's with a prostitute. It doesn't really do anything. Except plus 10 damage against female op opponents. So I'm gonna go, uh. Oh, yeah, confirmed bachelor, you can get, uh, free. free repairs from some guy at, uh, the end. the Mojave outpost. I might get that later. But for now, intense training. I want 10 endurance. So, um. you can, uh. intense training, you can get 10 times. So you can raise like two extra, it li like I think at least two extra skills to ten with intense training, which is pretty cool. Now uh, we need to go talk to Ringo. This is where things get a little bit more complicated. And you know what? I think uh, I don't know when I started this episode. It might be short. Oh yeah, we should probably get some other stuff from, uh, you know what, I'll off-screen a few things after this. Uh, this is, uh, the, this is the gas station that Ringo's holed up in. When we talk to him next episode, uh, there's gonna be a little fight that happens. Not directly after, but there's gonna be a few other things. And, uh, yeah, so until then, this is the Arbiter 10 signing off. Farewell. I don't know why I did that.